not look at all the same when we're done as it was in the beginning. And it's a very fixable problem, and it takes some money. Too much for you and me, but not too much for governments. Small well, they spend that they spend that much war. on on wars, you know. So oh, I yeah. mean, and this would basically send us back to the dark ages. Look, we only have one minute left. What's going on October in October? I understand there's an event being held in Kansas City. Tell us more about that. We have at the Kansas City Expo grounds. There's a big prepper show with and Dr. Richard Allen Miller, myself, Vincent Finelli, and a number of other experts are going to be giving free talks on Saturday and Sunday. October 3rd and 4th at the Kansas City Expo Show. And on Friday, Dr. Richard Allen Miller and I are giving an all-day survival preparedness workshop for surviving game-changing events like we're talking about, how to prep and survive those. And Richard Miller helped Navy SEALs Corp. develop their program to teach Navy SEALs to make critical life and death decisions in a very short period of time. So it's a great opportunity to spend the day with Richard Allen Miller and I, and you can Go to wentechfails.com or mattstein.com, and you can sign up for Friday's workshop. It's a rare opportunity for Rick and I to be together and give an all, spend an all day with the two of us. All right. It's good to have you on our side. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to having you on the show again soon. I just want to remind everybody that these are the two books by Matt Stein, When Technology Fails, When Disaster Strikes. These, uh, you know, put these on your bookshelf. I have this one in my disaster kit, so check it out. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for President! Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. For InfoWars.com, I'm David Knight, and Jakari Jackson and I are standing here on the mall between the Washington Monument and the Capitol building back there. Of course, the Pope is going to address Congress for the very first time. No Pope has ever done this before. This morning they were talking about how John Boehner has wanted this ever since he became a member of Com Congress, and of course he was tearing up as he uh, saw the Pope there. This has actually been kind of a contemporary worship service, a worship service to the earth, to the environment. That is the kind of pagan global governance agenda that is being sold by the Pope here. And it's going to give cover to the people like John Boehner who want open borders, who want to enact carbon taxes, carbon credits. That's how you finance a global government. That's how they get control of you on an individual level. Think of it as an income tax for the UN. And of course, tomorrow we're going to be at the UN. He's going to be addressing not just the UN. Uh, council there with everybody there, but also 80 world leaders, including Obama, are going to be there because this is about global governance, so you need to have all the leaders there. Stay tuned. We'll have more reports from InfoWars.com. Anybody excited to see the Pope? Yes. You are? Okay. Yes. 
So what are you most excited about? Uh, well, he's humble, and uh, I think that Congress should accept some of his humility. What are you most excited about? Never seen a pope before. <laughs> are you uh, are you a Catholic? No, sir. No, so you just came to check it out. It's kind of a big deal. I saw the Dalai Lama once, and you know it's always great to see great religious figures. Just are you are you from uh, D.C.? Not originally, no. Okay. And a lot of people have speculated about his views, political views of the United States. Do you think he's in line with uh, what President Obama's agenda is? It doesn't matter, to be honest with you. I mean, he, you know, the Pope is the Pope, and so he's going to do what he's going to do, and I don't think he, he abides by anybody's laws except for his own and God's, so. Right. And do you think he has enough security? We have a strong security presence. I hope so. Oh my gosh, I sure hope so. <laughs> There's a lot of security, yeah, yeah. Do you think he has enough security out here today? It looks like he has more than the president. We love you, Pope Francis. I think that he'll bring the message of Jesus to us and help us to focus our lives on what we should be focused on. Are you a Catholic? Yes, I am. Do you follow any of his views on climate change? Um, yes, of course. Yes. Well, what would you like to see happen with climate change? Anything in particular? Well, if we could start eliminating cars, I think that would help a lot. Even the Pope Mobile? He's got a great Pope Mobile. He chose a car that's less than twenty thousand dollars. You got to hand it to him. He's a great guy. Shame on you. Religion. Talk about disrespect. disrespect. Because of your religion, that's why we got the security. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. You don't believe in Jesus as a son of God. You don't believe in Jesus as a son of God. So we're doing a report here, and uh, Aaron Marcus came over and started talking to us, telling us what he had seen last night about security, because uh, that's what we were concerned about when we were talking. I found out that you're actually going to uh, run for governor, but you've been very active in Oregon. Tell us about this ballot initiative that's coming up called, uh, uh, that, that's named after your son. Well, I'm the director of Safer Oregon PAC, and we have a couple ballot measures that are coming up for 2016. One of them is called Owen's Law for a Safer Oregon. Owen's Law basically changes the parameters of what the juvenile case, McKeever versus Pennsylvania, means as it applies to the Adoption and Safe Families Act. Right now, they use that as a ruling to deny parents the right to a jury when they're facing these civil cases involving their kids in child welfare courts. We're, we've been very active, and I traveled all the way across the country, leaving Hang June. Let, let's talk, let's pack okay. that out for people. Let's tell them sure. what the consequences of that are, because as you're describing that to me, you said because they they've, they've set up certain protections for juveniles. But even though you're in a court situation and they're accusing the parents, they say that you don't get a, a typical legal protection, in other words, uh, counsel and that sort of thing. Tell, explain that to us. Okay, so how it works under the Adoption and Safe Families Act is they moved them from adult courts over to juvenile courts saying it's a juvenile matter. And then they hide behind the ruling of McKeever versus Pennsylvania. And that ruling strictly states that juveniles do not have the right to a jury in criminal proceedings. So they say it's about the child, and then they deny the child the right to a jury in these child welfare cases, and it's really just a trick so they can uh, sidestep a parent or an adult's due process. They make accusations at the adult, and they put an attorney on top of the child who always sides with whatever the court is doing. Now, to make matters worse, all the judges on, these, on most of these cases are pro tem judges, which means they're appointed there by the state uh, Department of Justice or Judicial Department which means the attorney general or solicitor general, depending on your state, the ones arguing the case for the CPS agency, they're the ones that get to decide whether or not the judge can maintain that position. It is a total smokescreen. The AG decides whether or not she wants to win or lose the case, and they, give, they deny parents due process and the right to a jury. So let me interject here, because when we, 
when we walk through the TSA checkpoints at the airport, we understand that they're violating the broad general prohibitions against government activity and getting away with it. So when we see things like what you're talking about, taking parents who are accused of a uh, child abuse situation, they should have due process. We, we understand there are some people who do abuse their children, but there's a lot of people who are caught up in this process who are innocent but get nailed by this system because it wants their children. That's what we're concerned about. So what they do is essentially the same thing they do with your property, with civil asset forfeiture. They don't charge you with a crime. And they don't make it a criminal offense because they don't want to give you your due process. So they just seize your property and call it a civil action. They charge your property with a potential crime, and then you have to sue them in court if you want to try to get your property back. So what they do with a family, now that you're talking about with this uh, a court decision, they move it out of a criminal accusation into a juvenile court and then say, since in juvenile court you don't get the same rules of protection, now the parents have had their due process shut down. That's what we're seeing over and over again. And, that, and what we need to see, and I wanted to talk to Aaron, because what we need to see, or we need to see people who understand how their, how their rights are being abused, and, and this happened to him personally, so he knows. We need to understand before they come for your family, you need to understand what they've done to other people's families so you can fix this broken predatory system. And we need to do this at the state level. It's not going to happen getting a, somebody else in the White House. This is something we have to do at the local level, and that's what you've done. You've gotten this on as a ballot. You've set up an organization here to push back, to get this legal reform as they're preying on people with the CPS system. Well, and it goes much more broader than that. It, it has to do with the Title IV E funding, and with the adoption incentive programs, it says more children have to be adopted out this year than the previous year or they don't get money for both. That is why they're taking such a large number of kids and the overall agenda isn't for protecting kids anymore of course and it's not even necessarily so much as uh, of getting after these incentives. What it is is there is a liberal agenda behind this to bankrupt our social security. You hear all the time on CNN uh, recently that they're going to be running out of Social Security next year, but they won't say why. The reason why is because they're taking kids and they are using the voter registration list through Secretary of State's office in states to find out whether or not parents are uh, libertarian or Republican voters or whether or not they vote certain ways that align with the U.S. Constitution. And once they find that out, after they've taken your kid, good luck getting your child back. Yeah. This is about taking kids from people that are Americans that believe in our country and in our Constitution and our freedoms and taking them and having them raised by people that will vote Democrat and not even question it. Hoping that those kids get raised to vote the same way. It's worked because in the last 20 years we've seen a big shift in the types of voters that we have. People that are voting in kind of a, a pseudo-socialism which they don't understand is going to go into a full-on communism real quick if something isn't done to protect these kids from this type of uh, uh, political exploitation. All right, we're out of time. Tell me again how the people can find out about this if they're in Oregon. And if you're not in Oregon, you need to find out what's going on in Oregon because it's not limited to that state. They use these same tactics everywhere. What's that organization again? Well, it's Safer Oregon PAC, P-A-C, at uh, Facebook.com. And you can also find out a little more about my com campaign and what I plan on doing to put families and children before these lobbyists that are trying to put this into law. You can find me at Aaron for Governor. That's A-R-I-N for governor at on, on Facebook. My name is Aaron Marcus, and I'll be glad to be Oregon's next governor. And I'm going to need a lot of help from a lot of you. God bless. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. And again, we have to get our freedoms back. We're going to do it at the local level, folks, not at the White House. It isn't going to happen. Don't fall in line behind some savior from some political party, whether it's Democrat or Republican. Find some core issues and start trying to make some changes on those core issues at the local level. For Infowars.com, I'm David Knight. Clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different 
different cleansing products. We use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.